Life during the rainy season in the small northern town of Bunge is challenging to say the least. While the heavy downpours give life to grasses and crops, turning the landscape green, they also make everyday chores of collecting water, food and firewood that much harder to navigate. Bunge is a small town in the Upper Nile region of South Sudan, just 30 kilometres from the border with Sudan. Over the past five years, its population has been dwarfed by a flood of 140,000 refugees seeking sanctuary. They were not fleeing the recent civil violence in South Sudan, although that continues to be a threat. Instead, they initially escaped to Bunge in 2012 from the Sudanese side of the border to escape conflict between the armed forces of the Sudanese government and a rebel group fighting for South Sudanese independence. Today, refugees continue to come and go from four sites in Bunj, but at times their presence creates significant tension, including outbreaks of ethnic fighting within their own camps, as well as clashes with the host community. Bunj is a small town with uh, very limited resources such as water, uh, health facilities, education facilities, not adequate for the host community. And then with the refugees, uh, this creates a bit of uh, conflict between them whilst the host community perceive the refugees as intruding or competing for the same limited natural resources. A 150 strong UN peacekeeping contingent, mainly from Rwanda, operates from a small base in Bunj, patrolling the roads and providing a secure environment for the local community, refugees and humanitarian workers. They provide an important protective presence and contribute to peacemaking efforts. So that's a crossroads for a lot of different conflicts that are happening and that makes it very volatile um, and it's also therefore makes it very important that we uh, have our presence here and that they are able to provide some confidence to the humanitarian agencies that are working. A joint peace council has also been formed by the UNHCR and local authorities to encourage refugees and the host community to work together. The essence of this is to ensure that the refugees and the host are together, uh, have a common space to express their grievances, to dialogue and then discuss whatever issues that come. It also serves as a valve you know, for, for diffusing any tension, any problems that may be brewing within the two communities. Both groups working together so that the refugees will soon be able to return to their homes to live safely, with dignity and hope for a brighter future.